Hi, Dr. Gerson here. I thought I'd show you what the Mastering Biology website looks like since you're going to be spending so much time there this semester. So first thing I need to do is go ahead and open a web browser. So let's see, I'm going to go ahead and try Firefox. And you can see I've already, well, I've already typed it in, but just so you believe it, I'm going to type in masteringbiology.com. Enter. And it should bring you up to a page that looks like this. Oh, so I changed the picture of the student, but everything else is the same. I think every time you reload it, you get a different person working on Mastering Biology. So in order to access the Mastering Biology site for our course and complete the homeworks that you'll need to do in order to be successful, you're going to need to purchase the access code. So hopefully you bought your textbook in the bookstore, and if you bought the loose leaf textbook, it came bundled with a Mastering Biology access code. If you're using an old version of the book, that's fine, but it means that you end up paying more for the access code than what you would with the bundle. So we did order for you the bundle that's going to be the loose leaf Campbell Biology textbook. And I think that I think that's the ninth edition. And then in addition to that, we had it bundled with the access code for the website. So if you have your access code, then you should be able to go to register now and click to register as a student. And I don't have an access code. So you'll notice when you go down here, you select your location in US and you can continue from there. Enter your access code, you'll enter your email and your course ID, which you'll find on the syllabus. But I'm going to go back because I'm already registered with Mastering. So once you're registered and ready to use it, you'll click Sign In. And each time you come to Mastering, you just have to type in your username. And I used my email address for my username. And then your password that you selected. And I click Sign In. And hopefully I typed everything correctly and the website should come right up. There it is. So I just wanted to point out a few things to you on the Mastering site. First of all, uh, you'll find on your syllabus and also on the Blackboard course site, you'll have the course ID for our course. It's MB, stands for Mastering Biology, and then Gerson, my name, and then F14 is for Fall 14. And so that should be what you used with your access code to get to our course home. You might have several courses that are using Mastering Biology or a Mastering course from Pearson. And if you have more than one course that you're enrolled in, then you should be able to find them under the My Courses tab. But for biology, it's MB Gerson F14 for Mastering Biology Gerson Fall 14. And you can see I'm recording this in July. So let's go forward to August. Once classes begin, you can see that you have a lot of homeworks that are already scheduled. So your main page on Mastering Biology is going to be this course calendar. And as you're looking at this course calendar, it'll show you dates that something is due. And when you hover over that, it'll tell you what the due date and time are. What I really recommend, though, is checking your Assignments tab. You'll notice my view is a little different than yours because I also have the roster and gradebook. But when I click the Assignments tab, there are a couple of different ways that I can display it. For the most part, things should come up if you're organizing them by title. They should come up in the order in which they're due, but just to be on the safe side, Notice when I click on title, it did change things around a little bit, like now 10 and 11 and 12 come before 2 and 3. So the safest way to make sure that you're keeping on track with your Mastering Biology homework is going to be to organize by due date and time. So that each time you look at your Mastering Biology assignments, you can schedule for when your next assignment is due. And so your first assignment, Intro to Mastering Biology, is going to be due on that September 3rd at 8 a.m. So your assignments and mastering are due at 8 a.m. That gives me time to look at the results before we meet in class that day. Some weeks you might have just one mastering assignment, but some weeks you might have as many as three, and we'll talk about that more later. I just wanted to introduce you to the site, show you how to organize by due date and time, and to show you two more features that I hope you'll take advantage of. One of the features is the study area. So let's look over here on the right side of the screen, study area. When I click that, it opens up a new tab. And this tool, I think, is underutilized by students. Not every single chapter has really great study materials, like chapter one is uh, so introductory, maybe not as useful, but maybe when we're studying tour of the cell. 
you can choose chapter 6 and click go and there will be a list of materials that are available for you to use for your own studying. So there's a practice test, a self quiz, some information about the key concepts, some activities that you can choose to work on on your own, and so you could match up these key concepts with the preview and review questions that I'm proposing to you to study to be ready for your exam and then really use these tools in your textbook to help you to do even better. A couple other things that are really nice is that in some of the chapters, I think there's a place where you can find some printable flashcards for studying vocabulary, but also there's art for students. And so you can actually download both the labeled and also the unlabeled images. For example, if you have an unlabeled picture of the cell, then you could use that to test yourself to make sure that you know what all the different organelles are inside that cell. So let's go back to the main Mastering Biology page because there's one other thing I'd like to show you, which is that there's another tab here that says eText. And so when you purchase Mastering Biology, it's bundled with the eTextbook when you purchase it with the loose, leaf, the loose Leaf textbook. So when you purchase the Loose Leaf textbook, you have the textbook, you have the eTextbook, which means you have it with you anywhere in the world, wherever you can log into Mastering Biology from. And then in addition to that, you have access to the study area as well as the ability to complete those Mastering Biology assignments. And so here is, oh, I guess we're working with the 10th edition. Here's the 10th edition of the textbook and organized by units in the table of contents. So for example, unit three, genetics. And if I click on the arrow, we could study, uh, first of all, some current topics in genetics by learning about some scientists in the field. Or we could look at things like Chapter 15, The Chromosomal Basis of Inheritance. And you can actually click right through the textbook. And it looks exactly like the loose leaf version that you will have purchased in the bookstore. And so that's Mastering Biology. And I hope you'll take some time to explore the site. And I know you'll be spending a lot of time with it over the course of the semester. See you in class.